Family members of Chloe Carroll are sharing their fond memories of her. Someone shot and killed the 15 year old girl last month in Terre Haute. In just a moment, you'll hear how her life is being honored, but we want to update you quickly on the case. A 15 year old boy is still working through the juvenile court system. He's facing a murder charge. There's a chance he could be moved to adult court. At that time, his name would be released publicly. Cody Sherb is expected to appear in court tomorrow. He's 17 years old and was recently waived to adult court. Sherb's charges are dangerous possession of a firearm and theft of a firearm. At 5 o'clock, you heard Chloe Carroll's family describe her as a kind and compassionate person. Now tonight at 6, we're hearing how her family hopes to continue to honor her life. News 10's Kit Hanley spoke with them for the first time today. She's in the newsroom to share what they hope to do in her name. Chloe Carroll's family says her spirit was bright and infectious. Her brother Derek Carroll describes her as the gem of the family. She had a lot of friends and she cared deeply about a lot of people. I met up with a few of her family members to talk about the legacy she leaves behind. You know, you have all these words to say to your loved ones when they're gone, but then what would you say? Um, just that. I was very proud of you. I loved being your older brother. I think we all did. Um, Chloe Carroll's family tells me she was a very special person and an amazing daughter, sister, friend, and aunt. She was like my sister. She looked just like me. Um, I acted like her, and um, I loved her a lot. They say Chloe had a lot of things she wanted to accomplish. She had hopes of going to college and becoming a veterinarian. Because of her passion for animals, the family has plans of working with the Humane Society on a project to honor Chloe. The Carols are also brainstorming ways to engage young teens in the community to help put a stop to violence. We just hope that, you know, this doesn't impact another family and we just want to share how much we love Chloe and, and how special she was to us and uh, how much she really impacted our lives. Her brother Derek tells me that it was in Chloe's nature to give. She was an organ donor and he says that she would be really happy to know that she's continuing to give back to the community and he's so grateful to know that her legacy will live on. Reporting in the newsroom, Kit Hanley, News 10. Patrice. Now that is a very powerful story, Kit. Now you have said that there's an event to honor Chloe happening soon. Please tell us about that. Yes, so there is a skate event this Friday at the Wigwam Center from 7 to 10 in Chloe's honor. It will be a memorial for her and the owners are encouraging friends and family and people who knew Chloe to share memories. It'll be a really, really powerful event.